welcome back to my channel. I have a huge grocery haul to share with you. I shopped at Walmart, Grocery Outlet, and Winco. Those are my favorite stores. We did shop at several different grocery outlets because they are all so different. So I got a lot of stuff. I have no, oh my gosh, I feel like I spent a lot, but I stocked up on a lot of stuff. It's been a while since I did a grocery haul because we really didn't need anything and then we're, we're running low. So I'll put it up here of how much I spent. I will tell you the prices. We're gonna do lots of soups this week because if you guys watched any of like my Dollar Tree haul, my grandpa, he's turning 87 very soon. He's spending a whole month with me and I just want easy, easy stuff. So it's like cheese and broccoli soup, chicken enchilada soup, there's like a vegetable soup and the like Italian um, soup from the Olive Garden. It's just stuff, easy stuff, you guys. Easy, 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 easy. All right, let's go ahead and jump into this haul. We needed some cilantro, so pick that up. I, seriously, I put cilantro on everything. I absolutely love cilantro. For all the veggie soups, I need some bell pepper. They're like 59 cents at your Winco. Okay, Poblanos, my husband loves these. We're having the family over tonight. Mr. Pookie is cooking tri-tip vegetables and French bread. And my grandpa, just like me, loves margaritas. So we're gonna make him a margarita. He is super excited. I cannot wait to spend some time with him tonight. So we have some poblano peppers. These are so good. So we cut them up with, veg with other vegetables and season them. And then I wanna do some chili rianos tonight. Or not tonight, but this week. So I grabbed a whole bunch of these. These are pretty much a staple in our house because you can mix and match. You can do so many things with poblano peppers. They're great. Okay, yellow cricket neck squash. We picked up a few of those for the mixed vegetables tonight. And then you had to have your regular zucchini. So we mix, we picked that up. So my husband will take a poblano and then cut up those vegetables, season them up on the griddle, and it's like with, with the uh, prime rib tri-tip or whatever, it, it's good, well, prime rib, whatever, it's good with anything, it's so, so good. So grab that, this is a staple in our house. Oh goodness, you pick this up, how much is it? $3.49. $3.49 at Walmart. Grocery outlet. Grocery outlet. Grocery outlet. So you guys know, if you watched any of my hauls, it's like we use this for everything. Daddy cinnamon rolls, sandwich buns, I mean, it's just, it's good. It's yummy. Put almond on. Yeah, almond butter. My husband puts almond butter on here. I mean, we have to have these, so it's a staple. Needed that. Okay, we needed some pancakes. This was a dollar ninety nine at the grocery outlet. We have a deep. We have a few deep freezers. Plus, when I go grocery shopping, I have several refrigerators that actually you plug in so that it. I don't need ice or anything. It just runs off of my battery. So. I had to take quite a bit of them today because we got a lot of stuff, but we picked that up. Bacon was, I know there's another one, bacon $2.49 at the grocery outlet, you guys. I picked up two of these because you gotta have bacon on top of your soup, right? So grab the bacon. So we have that. That'll go out in the freezer or the refrigerator. Okay, so my daughter loves one of my daughters love to do sandwiches and she likes the spinach and then for the soup so these were $2.99 so we got one for her and then one for the soup that way we have plenty i eat spinach i'd rather have spinach than lettuce on my sandwiches as well i think it tastes amazing grocery outlet the almond butter this was around five dollars and some change it's the creamy almond butter $4 oh four ninety nine. dollars see he's I try to pay attention to some things he gets and I get like we're a team. So that's really good. It actually went down in price. Okay, we do not like mayonnaise in this house. <laughs> One of my daughters wants sandwiches and she asked for mayonnaise. So we just picked this up. It was 99 cents. Perfect little squeeze. Anybody like mayonnaise? We just, my husband doesn't, none of us like mayonnaise. Okay, liquid death. My husband loves it. It's sparkling water, $12.49 at Walmart. So he picked up the lime. So we have the lime. And then I'm bending and is scooping over here, you guys. Lime. We have the berry, which is really, 
really good as I'm trying not to drop everything. And then the mango as well. He takes these to work and um, they're pretty good. So those are the three of his favorite and they're kind of hard to find because I think people are catching on that they're good too. So they really are. That'll last me about a month. Yeah, it'll last him a month. So that's his little treats. Okay, margaritas. You gotta have fresh limes for margaritas. So these were 33 cents a piece. How many did you get? 12. 12. So that'll last 40, like a night or two and I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but we have to get the, the fresh limes. A grocery outlet, $6.99. Yes, because now Target's starting to lock up all my stuff and I'm like, <laughs> so grocery outlet hasn't yet and they're pretty cheap, $7.99 for 90 loads. So I grabbed that. We have the half and half. This is for one of the soups. I think it's like the, the Italian soup from Olive Garden. I think it said, I think Zuppa or whatever. However, it's, I need that. It, it calls for that. Okay, grocery outlet. This was $2.99. So if you have a grocery outlet, by you and you do trick-or-treaters i mean 40 bags for 2.99 of the sour patch kids i just have this because my daughter my youngest i put one in her lunch every day for a little treat so for two that's like 40 lunches heck yeah so i grabbed that you guys know this is my favorite 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 this is their smoke meat sticks i get one hot pepperoni and then two pepperoni Grocery outlet for eight dollars and some change. This is amazing. Not grocery outlet. Uh, Winco. Goodness, there's just so many stores going through my head right now. So, yeah. Oh my gosh. Have you found them yet? Have you tried them? Let me know. What do you guys think? I'm telling you, it's the best. I can't go back. Every other meat stick, beef jerky, and Slim Jims. Really, that's not a. That's not a beef stick. This is. That's a bee stick. It's delicious. Okay, check this price out. Can you even guess? You're like, what? This is like a Costco size of the soft pretzels. You get 25 soft pretzels. I bought, I was like, whoa, ho, ho. grocery outlet, $5.99. That was just one of the, like, I couldn't believe it. So they had two, two left in the stores, I know. I purchased all two because I've got a teenage son and you guys know if you have teenagers, they eat a lot, especially the boys. I mean, oh my gosh. So I grabbed two, so $5.99, can you believe that? So if you have a grocery outlet, definitely look. Look and see if you have it. Definitely they have an app now and every time like you put your phone number in, they always give you coupons, so I would highly download the grocery outlet app because I have saved so much. I'm always getting like $5 off $25 coupon, which is great. Okay, grocery outlet. This is our favorite coffee. This is $19.99 a piece. 40 K cups for $19.99, it's great. And this stuff is like, if you love dark, rich coffee, you wanna like taste your coffee, this is, this is what you're looking for, my friends. I think they have it at, Walmart and everywhere else, but for $19.99 for 40 K cups, that is amazing. Okay, we needed bread for my daughter's sandwiches, $1.29 at your Winco. Then roll back, gotta love Walmart's roll back. So tonight we're gonna have French bread. And these were 99 cents. So these will, I don't know if we should have got three. My grandpa, he can eat. That man can eat. So hopefully I have enough bread for everybody. But yeah, 99 cents. I think that is such a great, such a great price. So we picked two of those up. This was at the grocery outlet, 99 cents. It's just the turkey stock. But I mean, I'm going to use it eventually. We'll do like, you know, turkey seasons are coming. And you can do like turkey chilies and stuff like that. So for 99 cents, I was like, why not? We'll grab it. Treats, $2.99 for the Puppos. Had to pick up them some treats. That's at Grocery Outlet. And then this is also, as I'm dropping, this is Winco, right? Uh, yes. Winco? So 
So we got two of no, the. Those were, those were oh, they're Rochelle. Yeah. Two of the blue diamond almond. I. <laughs> I got two of these, and they are the pepper jack, and then this is the country ranch. How? What did you? They were dollar ninety nine. Dollar ninety nine. These are good. They really are good. They, they're they so good. So good. So those are for him. And then I don't want to do dishes. So for tonight, I figured we'd just get this. The Solo plates. They're the ones that are like soak proof, cut resistant, microwavable. You get 44. So we're fancy over here. We're going to eat off paper plates. Cause I don't just... No, I want to spend time with my family. So we're going plate. We're just easy peasy. For the chicken enchilada soup, I need um, the green Mexican salsa. So I picked this up at Grocery Outlet. I think it was like $1.99 or something, $1.49. Not too bad. This was $1.49 for the green enchilada sauce. We didn't really get any meat because if you watch all of my other hauls, like we have several deep freezers and anytime I see good meat prices, I just stock up and so I'm like okay we, we have a lot so let's go through what we a little bit of what we have and then we can stock later lime juice I think this was like a dollar dollar twenty at Walmart great value for the margaritas you guys know this is my husband's favorite the 505 flame roasted green chilies this is like four dollars and some change 429. 429 look at you see he grabs stuff I grab stuff okay what i could not believe this you guys this is brand new i've seen this in the store for like eight nine dollars and my kids are like mom please get us goldfish i'm like no because it's eight nine dollars and i love you guys but my look the budget doesn't love that this lasts you like two or three days and i'm spending nine dollars no oh my gosh 4.99 at the grocery outlet and i might have i might yeah i picked up five so I'm gonna I'm gonna hide the rest, or we're gonna put this in the pantry, because my kids don't get this very often because goldfish is so expensive. So and it's the Mega Bites, the huge ones for $4.99. Check out your grocery outlet, you guys, because moms, grandparents, anybody that is around children, this is like their favorite thing. But for like ten dollars, nine dollars, even seven dollars, like almost eight dollars, no. So that's a good price. So definitely stock up on that if you guys can't be ever grocery at it. Okay, my, one of my daughters loves the mashed potatoes and the roasted garlic. So we decided to grab three of these. These are $2.99, these are at Grocery Outlet. They're so easy, you guys, super easy. They're like little pucks. They look like this. And then you just take whatever, you can put them on the stove top, microwave oven, super good. So like if you have Thanksgiving and you're like, you're in charge of the mashed potatoes, they have regular ones, these ones for $2.99, I mean, they're great, they're great. So if you're short on time, Grocery Outlet is a great place to, to get those. I'm sure you can get them anywhere else, but that's a good price. And then we have the provolone cheese. Grocery outlet about $1.99 is about how they run. Sometimes $2.49 depending on each grocery outlet. But the provolone cheese for one of my daughter's lunches. I have like deep freezers and stuff right here. So everything's nice and cold. We needed butter for the all the things. And then of course we had to get the California roll, the sushi. This is $6.99 grocery outlet. The butter was at grocery outlet as well. And then of course the Italian sausage. This was, I want to say $2.49, somewhere around there at Grocery Outlet. So we needed two of the, cause I'm gonna do a big batch of the sweet Italian sausage. And then I needed some cream cheese for one of the, I think the, maybe it was the enchilada soup that I needed, or maybe, I don't know, one of the things. It was like $1.99 for the cream cheese. Okay, we have, Heavy whipping cream, big old thing of heavy whipping cream. Nine dollars? Uh, yes. I think maybe it was eight. Maybe it was seven ninety nine. Oh, so it probably went down somewhere around there. Grocery outlet, which I mean, big old thing. Yeah. And then how much was milk? Cause you got milk. Three twenty. Three twenty nine. 
Remember when it was like $1.99? Okay, well, we got one thing of milk just to have. My kids will devour milk. Oh my gosh. Okay. Do you guys remember a long time ago I was talking about Walmart and their macaroni and cheese pizza? And then after I told you guys about it and I posted on Instagram, everybody must have like, I don't know, was everybody talking about it? And everyone out and like bought it and I'm like, what is happening? What is happening? We can't find it. I'm starting to find it again. So we purchased like, I think we got nine of these. So my kids love them. They're the Mac Attack macaroni and cheese. You, I, the only place I've ever found this at was at Walmart, and it's like six dollars and forty nine cents. So we kind of spent a lot on pizza, but I mean, my eight year old loves it, and why not, right? Why not? So I grabbed her. Yeah, nine, nine of them. And then, oh, there's two more too? Okay, so I, there's a whole bunch. There is a whole bunch. So macaroni and cheese pizza for her. Okay, and then down here, I cauliflower Walmart, 99 cents. And then the big thing of broccoli, this was like $4 and some change at Walmart. It was really good for that cheese broccoli soup that we're gonna make so there's that oh eggs walmart was 7.49 so we get the big 60 eggs. for the 60 eggs so that's not too bad right we're i mean i'll pay those prices i have 19 dollars not too long ago so that's pretty good. Okay, then I'm scooping over here, scooping and bending over here. So I have a massive ice chest. Grocery outlet, 99 cents for the green beans. I have a lot of canned green beans, but it's good to have frozen too for our vegetable soup that we're making. So grab two of those. Uh, this was $7 and some change grocery outlet. One of my daughters was like, oh mom, can I have this? And I was like, absolutely, why not? She loves mac and cheese. Okay, the brown and serve little mini link sausages. My youngest loves like she'll have one pancake and then like a few of these. These were 99 cents at the grocery outlet. So picture some of those up for breakfast in the morning. These were $3.99, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we have like the black the grocery outlet. Black forest ham, we have a honey ham another black forest ham and another honey ham so the kids are gonna eat sandwiches this week they're like yeah let's have sandwiches so easy we don't make a mess perfect i know you guys i know this is not good cheese i know i should get block cheese i know but i know i know i try to be good at other things so we got the Mexico, Mexican style blend cheese, uh, Winco. Remember last time it was $4, it went up to $6. I'm like, gosh, only thing about Winco, their prices will fluctuate. Like you'll go in and you'll be like, oh my gosh, $4. And the next time you'll go in and it's like $6. Cheddar Jack cheese and the medium cheddar cheese. I know it's all about convenience, but I know they're bad. I know, I know they're bad, you guys. Okay, and then the... Grocery outlet, $2.99. I picked up a Canadian bacon tombstone pizza for my son and my daughter when it's like they don't want leftovers or when it's hectic and we're running on time. I thought this would be good to have for them. Okay, when cup, no, Walmart. I'm telling you, if your family loves fries, Walmart's is the best. I, we shop everywhere and potatoes are going up the price of potatoes are going up especially french fries walmart still has these these big old bags for like four was it four bucks no i think it was six bucks i think it did go up a little bit but i mean this is a yeah four pounds because i think it was normally like four something now it's six so potatoes are going up 
but these are really good. Walmart, go to Walmart to get your potatoes, your french fries, because everywhere else, or at least in Oregon around me, way too expensive. And then I grabbed a thing of wedge or like steak fries. These were like $3 and some change. And then, oh yeah, here's the other <laughs> two of the mac and cheese pizza. Okay, the tri-tip that we're making tonight for my grandpa, my grandpa's up and then my aunt and uncle are up. So we are gonna cook them some tri-tip. This is so good. This is the sweet and smoke, sweet and smoky. This is at the grocery outlet. So this one cost $22.93 and then this one cost $20.96 because my grandpa, man, he, he can eat. So I gotta make sure there's plenty of tri-tip for him. So you guys, I just want to say thank you guys so much for taking out the time and watching this video. And uh, now I'm gonna have all the kids put this away. I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.